Good morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up if you're down and out and depressed and angry. You're the only one that made that mess. You're the only one that can clean it up. And yesterday is gone, and we are not promised tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to go over the, a list of all the things that control us. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere, then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work, Working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain, never having enough. Being in a relationship with a man or a woman, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another. And you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I want to talk about getting excited with everything you do. I love the word, <clears throat> sorry, I love the word alacrity when you're excited about everything you do and when you become truly spiritual, you're totally different from everybody else. What others resist, you accept, you just accept everything that comes your way. Why should what somebody else says cause you um, disturbance? We are here just for a minute and when we re, uh, when we um when somebody is out of control with somebody else's actions why should you be upset and ruin your life ruin your day ruin your bliss ruin your happiness it's just not worth it so today i'm amazed at how people are caught up into what everybody else thinks what everybody else is doing around them when in reality, the only person that we can control, the only person's life that we have control of. And I was talking to you about like different people that you um, talk about uh, when you're making changes and you want feedback. Make sure that the person is on the right page in the right state of mind because you need to know where people are coming from when they do give you suggestions and they do give you advice and you need to see the state of mind that they're in. Are they happy? Are they in a good way? Remember, misery likes misery and you got to watch and again, um, be true to yourself. Uh, I'll give you some examples. I have certain people I talk with and no matter what my husband will say, even though he wants the best for me, it's not always the best for me, if that makes sense, for me. So in the end, I make the final decision. I talk with my sister, we throw things around. She may be very passionate about something, but I may not agree with it. And again, that's a healthy place to be when two people can think differently. And this is the problem in relationships. You think you have to agree, you think you have to um, believe what they believe and we're not always going to believe what somebody else is believing we're not always going to read or, or like what other people read even though they're close to us we're not always going to like what they do um, and this is where the letting go uh, completely the letting go and just trusting your own process trusting your own gut trusting your own spirituality and being true to yourself and boy, it's a really great place to be in. It took me a while to get here. I love it. Um, I'm really taking stands. And again, when I started my podcast, it really um, uh, stamped everything for me. Um, and it helps me to stay true to myself by reading and doing my podcast every day. And it keeps me in the balance, not too much of anything. Our kids, our partner, our play, our work, that's been really help, 
people for me. And when I stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect that you get in return. Remember the goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or, or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else your head gets backed up. Remember, if you have an attitude today, remember, be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world, doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissists, your words mean nothing, and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful spiritual saying by Louise L. Hay. Addiction, you're running from yourself, not knowing how to love yourself, loving treatment. Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my conscious, my very being. It radiates from me in all directions. It returns to me multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of my love makes me feel good. It's an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take lovingly care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it, and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with a vibration of love that to all who enter, myself included, will feel this love and be nourished by it. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing, one that uses my creative talents and abilities, working within four people that I love and that love me, earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people, for I know that which I give out returns to me multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world, for they are a mirror of what I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive totally release the past and past experiences. I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good, and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure. For I am a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore. And so it is. Trust the process. No more questioning. All I need is taking care of Louise L. Hay. Okay, I'm going to read a little part from my book. <clears throat> The Daily Inventory Maintenance Checkoff List, uh, one, two, three, four, we are in number five. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I'll read this one more time. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. You know, it's really funny. Um, that's a really powerful statement, and you'd be amazed at how hard it is for people to hug and kiss and show emotion. There, it, it's easy for people to say, fuck you, I hate you, um, and have a great attitude. But the hug and kiss, are you kidding me? Um, I remember years ago, my mother-in-law, she never hugged her children um, and never kissed them. And I'm the first one that started to do that with her and my father-in-law. And I'm a hugger, I'm a kisser. My mother was a hugger and a kisser. And um, it got to the point where she, uh, I never missed a hug or a kiss. Like she looked forward to it, and um, she hated. She had a lot of anger with her husband, and um, when she had her stroke, she became very loving and caring, and started hugging, kissing um, men that she hated. It was really interesting. It's amazing what strokes do for some people. I said you should have had your stroke a long time ago. You became more loving towards people, and I know. You know, in my program, people come to the meetings a lot of the times just for the hug to be touched because no one ever touches them. No one ever shows emotion for them. And one of the greatest gifts when you walk in that door and you receive that hug in those rooms, it is powerful, powerful. 
And in my relationship with my children or my grandchildren, my grandchildren, they look forward to the back rubs, the touching, the wrestling, the power of touch, the power of a kiss on the cheek. I was just at a party and this woman was crying. I didn't know who she was. Um, before I left, I went up and said goodbye and gave her a kiss on the cheek and left. And you should have seen the f expression on her face. It was beautiful. Um, surprise the people you love with a little hug, a little kiss out of nowhere just to give it to them. It's, um, it's a really amazing um, act of love. And I actually love it when I receive it, when my husband comes from nowhere and kisses me from behind. It's one of the most beautiful gestures you can do for somebody or put your hand on them. It's it's wonderful. So today, I want you to express and show the people you love, your children, your grandchildren. My kids, we always leave with a kiss. And boy, it makes my heart sing. And um, work on that if you're very cold. It's very hard for you to touch or hug. Start with just touches and work your way up to a little kiss or a hug. It's a process. And it's you'd be amazed, it's not always easy for people to uh, do that and um, it's uh, you can make a lot of people stay by doing that remember work on one thing at a, at a time and eventually it will be a way of life don't do too much of anything balance is most important I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts I accept today where I am powerless I have control where I have choices I will reach out for help and use my tools today I accept today and understand the only person I could change or regulate is myself I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner how much he or she is appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. Be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do, it, do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I'm willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day that you don't want to do to have a successful day. My two things are always getting up early and doing my podcast, working out and keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. Remember, you can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workshops and my books. My services, Life in Harmony, online. Leave your number. I'll go over my services with you. And remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Hit subscribe. Please share with everybody that you love and respect. Start with podcast number one, number two, number three. Do it for 30 days and you will be shocked. In one year, you will not recognize yourself. And remember, I want you to have an unusual day today. And thank you for listening.